can disengage quite nicely. Oh, they will go the slider. They go for the slider. But that in itself, if they win the laning phase, it gives themselves also a way. Exactly, but it is going to get more mana to Chaos Knight. In fact, they're already getting some good damage in his effort. This looks really bad for him. Yeah, it's not looking great, unless you're an OG fan, because that is the first blood, so. Yeah, that's really cool. Had our interview with him as he was saying, oh, one second, Gabby, okay, gets a little rip here. Going to give him a little bit more health. They turn their attention over onto White Mon, just continue to just throw out this harass, the stroke, phase, the crush, everything. One more hit will do the trick, and that's a dead White Mon. Just still gonna poke quite effectively Burns, in some of his games, so gotta watch out for him. Again in this top lane, staying a bit low here, trying to make some moves over onto Seb, but Seb needs to be careful. He's sitting very low himself. He's gonna try to dodge into the tree line, but he's still most likely going to fall. It's over in the bottom lane. White Mon not looking too great either. He'll be the next victim and the follow-up. Oh dear, this is looking very bad now for T1. Gabby will also fall. So let's uh, talk again about T1's draft as well, and just forcing them out of that lane where it's very, very difficult. It is. Uh, Brewmaster is a hero that doesn't have that much lane sustain, unless you go for a fast ring of health. Oh boy! Lane, no. Again, Gabby. Just there's so much lockdown coming out from here. Of course, he's dragged out Tiger trying to do some body block. Go for the little bit of that sprint with the slow, followed up with the crush. Needs a little bit more damage to do the trick for a bit of a tower dive. Gabby's trying to break these ankles, trying to break through the tree line, but he is just getting hunted down immersively here by Amar. They'll turn in, though. They'll turn it into something good as Carl makes that rotation with the Laguna Blade. Gets the and that it's, uh, it's better to contest this lane, but Ooh. OG's doing the right thing and not overstaying. Well, they don't know. They're not sure. Good There's heck. the Hex. Follow up with the LSA. The Laguna can they finish him oh, off? Good. This Io doing a bit of work, but not quite enough. Does the tips get dropped? Zeph now in for trouble. He's going to be the next one to fall. And Zephyr, these illusions are clicking away at him. But plenty of vision coverage, actually, making sure that they can keep tabs over on that tri camp. And Zephyr hiding in the tree line. So maybe the play over on Cuckoo. They see Zephyr, though. Oh, question is, who are they going to go for first? They'll jump over after Zephyr. They go. They drop those Serpent Hordes. They get the soul bind off on top. So you get the split off, though, and it's not looking great here for Seb. He is going to fall, and it's looking like Taiga. Oh, the rotation coming out from Carl as they'll chase down the Grimstroke. So they'll be able to complete that as BZM. Uh-oh, BZM. He's got, He's got a little bit of mana left. Perhaps he can get out of here in time, but they're probably going to hit this LSA right on the money. Follow up with the Subaru, follow up with just a nice kill. By T1 to get some footing in this game. And they're ready to go for round two here. Taiga teleporting right over there immediately. They'll go drop that Chaos Bolt. The Silence get over onto Cuckoo. Let's slow him down just a bit. The high five coming out from Seb. Classic OG stuff, but they'll chase up the White Mon. Another Silence being tossed out. They need to get there a little bit closer, though. Yeah. Reality Rift. There's a Chaos Bolt. Seb holding on to his friend here, his hand. And that's a double kill now for Yoragi as they'll zip over. And they'll look to find themselves a Carl. Silence coming out, and another kill going over to the CK. Really good catch there. They are able to turn that amazing fight into un- Gonna do their best. They have a nice ward on the outside just to prepare just in case. It's, it's so fast. I mean, it's Serpent ones are already good, and it's being amplified by Flesh Golem damage. 25% extra, so very easy Roche. That's one of the advantages of T1's lineup. OG can also Roche well, but they don't care. They're spread out. Uh, one thing I think is really interesting about the way OG... Okay, just completed. Oh, okay, that's pretty quick. Yeah. Kind of an interesting adjustment, but, you know, it's usually that or Ooh. Shadow Blade okay. or They're going right over. They're going to see Seb. Yeah, be blinking forward. They find themselves Taiga. Try to get rid of that extra stun if possible. Throw down the Hex, throw down the wards, and throw a little Laguna Flade into his face. What the war Zephyr has picked up the Blink Dagger, so, like, this chain reaction of just instant initiation and then the follow-up that can come out from their team is going to be very, very scary for OG. But in this case, who's going to get the jump first? There's going to be a Marsh showing off the Blink. Jump forward, though. Zip four, drag back over onto White Mon. we got the Silence. A decent amount of damage. Not going to be able to keep him alive. He's going to fall. As they did get the split up over to Kuka. BZM showing off that BKB. But Use Bruce Split. Ultimately fine. It looked a little bit hairy. Uh, Amar guessed a little bit wrong on the location, but with Storm, yeah, you get a guaranteed kill. And they're going to put all the minus armor there on Undyne, basically blow him up. And once you kill the Fire Panda, that's usually about half of the damage that Bruce Split does anyway. So once that was killed, there's really not much of a threat from T1 for the rest of the fight. So good little in and out to put Bruce Split on cool. Wrap it a bit. Can Yoragi find the right go? 
They don't have Bruce Blitz for 12 seconds. Oh, all right, they jump a little bit deeper in. They see the Lena, but immediately those BKBs come out. BZM popping his own. Nice LSA over onto two. The Soulbind will connect. Zep is going to fall. Zep are already down. They're sitting very low. Amar trying to get over to Carly. Just can't seem to do it. He's getting kited way too hard. Nice ink swell, though, coming out. Won't be able to slow down. Can they finish off White Mon? No, they can't. Taiga trying to run away. He cannot run from Gabby as he blinks for tries to go after BZM, and they just cannot seem to get their footing here. Ultimate's finally off cooldown, and they're just sitting here on Storm with a double damage, hitting a tombstone. That does not feel good. So they get crushed in the team fight, and they just offset a lot of the net worth difference in this game. It almost looked like they might. <laughs> double damage rune has been popped over here on Carl. They're hunting. They're hungry. They're looking for whatever they can get. And Taiga is hiding in the like line. Gabby, blinking forward. Oh, Taiga, you are going to be the sacrifice here. But it's going to allow BZM to survive, so... It's got to get nerfed too much more. <laughs> We've got the uh, stats about your armor there, Incredible friend. estimated hit points. What is the line? Line HP, interesting. That's a typo. Huge mistake from the Observer. Huge mistake. Oh, here comes the fight. There it is. Yep, it's breaking out. The dry out. They right back over to Whitemon. They're going to blow him up and see, but they've already lost Tyga here. They got Soul Bind off. Good heal coming out from Seb. We'll be able to keep Amar alive a little bit longer, but the split's been used. Cuckoo Hunting's going to be able to throw out the raw. Has the BKB, though. Mar turning back around. Wants to get rid of some of these pandas, but. Uh, that was his BKB reveal on Slardar. It's what he needed in that top tier two fight, certainly. Okay, Cuckoo. Gabby jumping forward. Look at this chain gun with all the fire everywhere. Just. Bursting away over onto your Rogi. Seth cannot outheal that. It's going to fall in the drag bath, though, over on the side. Looks like they'll be able to go. They pop the Aegis. Aeon just does get popped over your own Cuckoo's. Gabby's continuing to click over onto BZM, who's just teleported out. He doesn't want to be here anymore. Turn their attention over onto Taiga. They've got plenty of stun, plenty of damage. This tower belonging to the side of T1. Yeah, Dying's going to have the Wraith packed soon. Taking a look at items. DK's going for that uh, Aghanim Scepter. Omar is in a pretty good spot right now, though. 6-2-0, BKB, he's got a Hyperstone, so his attack speed is insanely high. If he does get the chance to hit heroes, they're really vulnerable. Uh, look at, look at BZM's build at 30 minutes in. Oh, hold build. on, hold that thought. That's There's the drag, idea. back the silence, and a dead Brewmaster, so very good patience there. So everybody else is going to teleport away, except for Zephyr. Zephyr is going to end up falling as well. I think those estimated hit points. And she was really good this game anyways. Don't forget, it lowers attack speed. Uh. What? what, what? No, he's just scouting, that's all. all, right, and, all right. and it's going to lower the healing of the enemy by 25%. He's against a CK and an IO. Very good uh, very good item regardless. So kind of perfect. Gabby. Oh, pops the Lincolns. It doesn't matter. Goes right and drops the fireball. Look at a blade to the face. And EZM is not going to be able to continue to do these uh, little cheeky moves that he's been doing. But item as the bottom tier two will fall. And Cuckoo leading the charge in here. Still has another charge over on that split. He's got the Aeon Disc up. Gabby seeing an opening over on Taiga. He's going to just immediately pounce upon him and remove him from this fight. They do have buyback, though, on the Grimstroke. He is going to use that. Serpent Ward's getting used, though, over here on the buildings. Carl continuing to whack away here with Cuckoo. The jump forward from Amar, but they turn back around. So it will get applied, but there's a lot of bashes going on, but it's not enough to keep them alive here. We will end up losing Yoragi over on the back. Amar, he's trying everything. He just gets kind of too hard. He doesn't have enough to survive that. As now Yoragi will buy back. Lena tanked the shit out of that slaughter. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Legitimately. Inkswell on top of it, trying to get the heal. Yeah. And Carl's just like, yeah, no, that's cute. Tanked him. Just tanked him. BKB removed the amp damage. That's kind of what hurt him the most because that would have been minus 24 armor. That would have uh, uh, increased his damage a lot. But man, that itemization absolutely solved this problem. Yeah. To lean in the first phase, he's just so confident on the hero. And there we go. They're just like, okay, all right. They're going to go after White Mon again, but they don't manage to finish him off. He's got that essence ring. He did blast the, the, the illusions. Did indeed. As they'll turn around. Oh, Yoragi, he just fought back. He can't afford to die here, Seb. Okay, coming in clutch, making sure that he can get him out. All right, they're TPing back. They're going to try to help defend the Wisp. Or contest Roche. I, I don't think they can. Look how fast this thing is melting. Look at Gabby. Look at his positioning. All right, Mar. The smoke pops, though. Gabby waiting patiently, immediately stunning up. Pulled it out. Drop the fireball. Seb doing his duty. Trying to keep him alive. And this time he just cannot do it fast enough. They jump forward. They drop the Serpent Wars. They'll take out Seb. There's no heal here. BZM, he's pumped the BKB. He's trying to get some damage. I'll try to do whatever he can. They'll chase after Zephyr. They'll be able to take oh, him down. Well, though, coming out beautifully done. We'll hit on multiples. Carl will fall. They need to get a little bit more damage over onto BZM. Will they be able to do it? The jump over from Gabby. They find a cuckoo. He's ticking down. He's going to be careful. They turn back around. All right, they'll get the kill. But they'll go in after your Rocky. Couple of hits. He will fall eventually. Gabby, the Dragon Knight, just chasing after them. Back over Zephyr, Zephyr, he's back, and they've got them stuck over on top of this 
life, but the drag back over onto the DK will be enough to take out Gabby. That's a monster kill streak ended. Cuckoo going back in, turning back around. He's trying to do whatever he can, but he's silenced up. He's gonna start being hit here by Omara. Mara's just bashing him to death, though. Get the kill. Zephyr using those spider legs to run for his life. This Roche is now open for O. KB off. He got pulled into a stun by Yuragi and instantly got stunned. I don't know if it was Inkswell or what, but he got caught in that. That was a big snag there by OG. And then Gabby, you know, Ty got no mana in the oh, live oh, game. Okay, all right. They go and they find Yuragi again. They go and just look at the heal coming out from Seb. It's not going to be enough. He's going to fall. And now Seb, he's going to get left behind by everyone. No buyback over here. Zephyr blinking forward, finds himself. Ty gets the shackles up. Cuckoo and they just burst down. My God. And we still have a panda. He's hunting. Just be busy. I'm trying to clear through here. Oh, it does get the, the creep wave. There's still three, though. They're glyphing it. Glyphed back. They got to kill this creep wave and then defend for 20 seconds. They're pinging bot creep wave as well. That also needs to be pushed out. But all their lane pushers, it's basically just Storm right now. And this, the, the creep is still alive. His... This oh, creep going. needs to die. They're just going in for he, it. He didn't kill it. It's still alive. Okay. All right. All right. All right, they, they can kill Rax now. All right, Amar dead. jumping over onto Carl immediately, though, just going to try to hide Gabby. Blinking four turns back around. They get the kill over onto Seb. Amar, oh, Amar, you're taking a little spin in the neighborhood, my friend. Drag back, though, coming out from BZM. He's going to try to slow them down, try to get them to focus on something else. As they do manage to take down Dude, Carl. Good. And now they'll turn back right, back around. Door. They get it's White up. Mon. They're just trying to buy a little bit more time, and they're doing it on the side of OG. They are protecting okay, it. Okay. They have to take down these wards, though. Gabby's still here as well. The next group Let's wave see, is here, but... Look at the serpent wards. They still managed to take it. Yeah, that, that was really close. Ooh. Backdoor lingers for like 10 to 20 seconds, somewhere in there. My wildest dreams thought that you would say, yeah. there's too much play now. Me neither. We all learn every day. Yeah. It's good to be open to new experiences. BZM over here on the side. Not detected, though. Like they got a ward. Looking for their initiation. Yeah, they it gets broken. The opening. Okay, Cuckoo. Considering it, go for the slit. The blink forward coming out from Gabby over at the BKB immediately. They'll blow up Taiga. Now their attention's turning over onto Amar, onto Seb. Yaragi over on the back lines here. They're just hiding. There's uh, so much damage coming out from the side of T1. A step does fall. BCM zipping around. Dice Vortex coming in. We'll be able to take down Whitemon. But now Cuckoo and Carl, they're trying. They're just hiding Carl left and right. It's looking a little bit scary Oops, now. They follow it. after Taiga. Yes, they did indeed. He's gonna have to run. Oh, the they drop the yeah, they drop the sentry over onto the side, not guessing the correct spot, but they're still hunting. They're looking. They know he's gonna be somewhere down here dropping the cinder brew. Oh, there he is. He's got the <laughs> He's trying. He's trying to buy some time, trying to make them chase him, trying to make it worth it, but Gabby and Cuckoo will just help themselves and murder Tiger. At least he bought some more time there. That was a really nice escape using the uh the Trickster Cloak uh, got him away from his opponents, uh, but they, they knew all the places to hide. They found it. He's going to try to oh, get his full oh. kill. Okay, all right. Well, that's his feet. That Aeon just getting popped over onto Zephyr, turn back around, gets the hold off. Are they going to try oh, to burst no, out? This, can dead. this actually be happening? Do they turn this around? Yes, they do. They managed to kill off Yuragi. He does have buyback. This Completely committed ulti, chain disabled him. That's why the fight got so hard for OG. They got to delay oh, again. They fought it. They fought it. They know. Go for the Vortex pull bag. Yoragi's here. Price gets the draw back over onto Carl. But, ooh, the hit's coming out. Yeah, be chasing after him. They want to remove Yoragi. They know that if they can get rid of Yoragi, things open up so much Thrones more. But then they go, they drop the hex come out. They call the GG. They knew it was over at this point. And T1 will ensure that they can clutch out this victory. Dude, they are just such a resilient team. They, they look a little bit down, like they're having trouble, but they still win their games. They eventually take an amazing team fight with excellent spell usage. And then it's like, it doesn't even matter they don't have a carry. They just play together so well. They stay together in network. They stay together, they get objective advantages. Uh, maybe it is the Shaman. Like the Shaman helped them take all their towers when they were behind in laning stage advantage. And then the Hex disable during these initiations for those two first crucial fights that got them back in the game was so critical. I mean, all smiles over on the side of T1 OG. You know, they look like they're still in pretty good spirits. They're, they're ready to go for, you know, the next match. But uh, I'm sure this has got to feel very, very good. I believe when we had our interview with Cuckoo yesterday, right, he was saying this was one of the teams that they were very excited to face off. And he's, he's very humble because he was saying, yeah, I just want to uh, have, uh, you know, maybe get us to top eight. And we're like, Cuckoo, dream bigger, bro.